Our top story tonight, arson arrest. Two teenagers are facing charges accused of starting a fire inside a Providence mill building. It's a story we first brought you last night on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11. Now police say two minors admit to sparking the flames that could have endangered innocent lives. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us live at the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Yes, Mike and Susan, two teenagers are in the juvenile prison in Cranston tonight charged with arson. A 14-year-old from Pawtucket and a 15-year-old from Providence. The police say they started a fire inside this huge mill complex in Providence last night. Firefighters got the call just before 7 o'clock last night. A three-alarm fire at the Wanskuk Mills Complex on Branch Avenue near Route 146 in Providence. Eyewitness News viewer Jason Malisi sent in this video on our website's reported function. Firefighters found two teenage boys covered in soot inside, and they even helped them get out of the burning building before the police arrested them. They made some admissions to us. What they told us is that they had gone into the building and looking for valuables. Uh, they were just scavenging. They were going to take anything they could find that they thought was worth value that they could maybe resell. And then while in there, at some point, they decided to light a fire for whatever reason, and the fire got away from them. And Investigators say the fire started on the second floor and was contained to a vacant section of the former mill, which houses several companies in other areas of the complex. Luckily, no one was injured. The police say the teenagers and several other people, including firefighters, could have been killed. Anyone who lights a fire, the outcome is completely unpredictable. All these mills are dangerous. Uh, they're large in uh, nature. And plus, they put the firefighters at jeopardy. Uh, obviously, these firefighters now have to go respond and rescue these people and go into these circumstances to save these people. Firefighters consider this an especially welcome outcome because with last night's heavy winds, this fire had the potential to spread quickly. But firefighters got here quickly, and they did their thing just in time. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.